So coffee is probably one of the most contradictory things you can consume on a zero carb carnivore diet, mainly because it pretty much embodies what a negative plant food is. And because if this diet was our ideal diet, why do we need energy from coffee? So first, I guess you have to understand that coffee is a bean. It's a seed of the coffee cherry fruit. And we take that bean, we ferment it for a couple months, we dry it out, we roast it. And, you know, beans and seeds are trying to survive the digestive system, whatever eats them, to be implanted in the fecal matter and grow into another plant. So these foods are very high in anti-nutrients, particularly phytic acid and oxalates. So they're very inflammatory to the digestive tract for that reason of being able to survive digestion. When you take this ground coffee and pour water over it, what you're pretty much drinking is a cup of caffeine and anti-nutrients. So the other aspect is, do we actually need to drink coffee if we're optimal on this diet? Well, that would make the most sense, right? I mean, if you do consume nutrient-dense foods and low inflammatory foods, you should be at a point on the zero-carb carnivore diet where you don't need coffee for energy. But to actually get into specifics of what negative things coffee can do to you, caffeine increases your cortisol levels, which uh, leads to insulin problems causing inflammation. And decreasing your insulin sensitivity makes it difficult for cells to respond to blood sugar. And there's definitely something to be said about you know, the effect that has on your body storing excess body fat. Uh, and, and outside of that, you know, coffee is known to be very acidic, causing heartburn, other various gut health problems are inflammatory to the gut. People do develop addiction and withdrawal symptoms to this food as it is a drug. Uh, and related to the phytic acid and oxalates, there is elevated mineral excretion in urine. Uh, in addition to that, I mean, another anecdotal thing that people experience is headaches, migraines, insomnia, related to serotonin and how it affects sleep. So there's various aspects of coffee, both in regards to caffeine and just coffee itself, how inflammatory it is that can cause negative things in the body. Now, the question is, is caffeine in itself, if it was isolated from coffee, is that okay to take for performance enhancing reasons? And you could generally argue for that. And for anyone saying, oh, okay, if he has antioxidants, guys, please. And I, let's read the definition of antioxidant. A substance that inhibits oxidation, especially one to be to counteract the deterioration of stored food products, uh, such as vitamin C or vitamin E that removes potentially damaging oxidizing agents. So it removes damaging oxidizing agents. But if you're not consuming oxidized fats, then why would antioxidants be an issue, especially on the zero carb carnivore diet? Anytime someone talks to me about, oh, if, if someone says to me that a food is good for you and they can't explain, the specific metabolic processes of why it's good for you. I smell BS. So, you know, hey, listen, if you guys want to justify coffee consumption because you enjoy it, and, um, you know, hey, even in the case of like the French who drink wine, they can drink it in the context of high vitamin healthy fats. So that makes it, you know, re reduces the inflammation that it causes. But uh, another thing to keep in mind is, you know, coffee has drastically different levels of quality and how they roast it is drastically different. The temperature they dry it at, some are sun dried, some are mechanically dried. There's varying level, levels and quality of coffee that certainly affect how your body handles it. And there's a big difference between someone having the highest quality espresso they can for dessert and someone that drinks half of, like a whole kettle of black coffee every day. So, you know, removing it initially from the zero carb part of our diet is definitely something that should be done and experimenting with different types of coffee to see what you can tolerate is fine. But to say that coffee is beneficial to you and that it depends on the person and all that BS, please don't kid yourselves, guys. You can try to say, I enjoy it. It doesn't, it's not too negative for me. You know, I sleep fine and those things, but there are very apparent negative things that happen when you consume coffee and there's no denying those things. Uh, to touch on the topic of tea, uh, this is very specific to actually what type of tea you consume because there's obviously a big difference between a flower or a herbal tea versus like a green tea because certain green tea supplements and people who've consumed large amounts of green tea a day, like five or six cups, have hepatotoxicity. It's a type of liver damage. So consuming green tea in large amounts every day might have something to do with liver damage, but that's not associated with black tea and other teas. So tea specifically... Uh, you know, although there's some, you know, it's pretty much leaves with various other compounds in it. And there are some negative things. You know, you got to look up every single thing individually, guys. You might have a coffee, for example, that might have some type of mold because how it was grown. 
you might have green tea that was super, super fresh and might have more of this compound that's harmful to your liver. So please try to do your, you know, your own individual research on the specific type of thing you are drinking. And, you know, at the end of the day, removing these things from your diet for a period of time is beneficial. And then reintroducing them to see how you react is ideal. Uh, overall, you know, pros and cons of caffeine, pretty much how it affects your cortisol levels, as well as serotonin and various pleasure responses in the body. There, there's, there's just, honestly, there's too much to look into for me to summarize this in a video. And overall, you know, at the end of the day, what are you going to do? Remove it, see how you feel. If you don't want to remove it, if you're one of those people that were fighting me on my last video that I made about this, I had to redo this, by the way. This is a bit longer, going more into detail and giving concrete information on what coffee actually does that might harm you. Uh, you know, just try it out, see how you feel. And if you guys would like to support me, there's some, you know, social media and various things in the comments. But above all, guys, if you can, just please share the video uh, and try not to get too salty. I know a lot of you guys like consuming coffee, but it, it is very contradictory from the standpoint of a zero carb diet that's trying to remove inflammatory plant foods as well as be kind of like your ideal version of yourself.